Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the world. I'm James Spilling here with Audio Plugin Deals. So today I'm going to show you a track that I've written uh, only using some of the instruments currently on the deals. Um, those are Sugar Bites Consequence, Baritone Guitar Washes by Riot Audio, and uh, the Caribbean Bundle, or Caribbean Bundle, depending on where you are, um, by Image Sounds. And that features Danceful Vibes, Finest Roots, Reggae 1, Reggae and Styles 1. So one's a sequencer, arpeggiator, groove box type thing. Uh, one's a ambient, washy, paddy, three-layered cake thing. Um, and the other, uh, lots and lots and lots of, lots and lots and lots of, lots and lots and lots of uh, pre-recorded WAVs. Um, for your delight for your beat making so i will show you the instruments i will show you the track that i've written and uh uh let's get on with it uh so ladies and gentlemen here's the track that i've written by the way these are all bounce downs um but i'll show you the instruments so first of all Here's this instrument, Consequence. I'd never played with Consequence before this. Um, it's an oldie, um, but it's still a goodie, actually. Um, so it's, I mean, I'm all about, I'm all about wanting inspiration, really, at the end of the day. And if something can inspire me to write something, then job, jobs are good. Anyway, um, I've just put it on absolute empty up here, you see. But these are all presets. Let me just show you preset. So this is ambience, it's time. Let's, uh, you press play here. Okay, it is, it's time to be weird. Um, that, uh, Sandra Bullock? No, S Sandal Rock. Yeah, I mean, you can hear what it's, the sort of instrument. Anyway, um, let me show you what it, this can do. Uh, really, really quickly. I've just gone absolutely empty, so we can start and I can show you the instrument. By the way, there are tutorials on this, so um, you can look them up, but I'm just going to show you what I've done. So look, this is this is a chord, chord memory. You can uh, literally write your own chords. I'm going to go C major, and that's chord one. Oh, no, that's C minor. Let's go C major. So that's chord one. This is your gate by your level. And let's pick an instrument, a uh, oh, guitar. Let's go acoustic octave, okay? So that should play. And then uh, let's quarter feel, let's go quarter feel here. Yeah, this is your loop. Okay, so then if I want another chord, I don't know, I'm gonna go, let's go random G sharp major nine and then I, I don't know for example what G um, sharp major nine looks like immediately so I press this button and it comes up with a sensible voicing sensible voicing anyway so let's put what let's put some of those up here let's put this is chord two yeah you get the, get the idea See, it's playing C major and G sharp major nine. Okay, so that's that. Right, now here, your performance. Uh, your mode, let's go for mode. This is how the arpeggio uh, is. So that's going up. Let's go down. And this is just normal. Gonna go, I'm gonna go down there. Yeah. Ah, oh, blah blah blah. Anyway, you can press this little dice and it'll random it. Oh, hello. What other goodies do we have? We have glide, we have tie, we have octaves. So some of these are going up the octave. Uh, this is whether it stutters three times, two times. Let's go. F uh, stop. Um, so uh, let's try and stutter this one four times. This one three, four. This one two. No, no. This one three. This one two. This is sort of a stutter tricky thingy. Isn't that fun? Anyway, let's randomize the whole thing again. 
Ja. Fun, isn't it? Uh, you can change the gate. Crazy. Uh, the clock divide, you can slow it down. You can speed it up. Yeah, uh, you can divide the chord so that this is going to go separately or slower. Or even slower. Yeah, uh, you can swing it. You can randomize, you can uh, all of that. Uh, so here, modulation section. So under all of these you have level, pan, octave, crush, age, attack. Oh, let's go for age. Draw it in. And that's your age button up here. See how it, so it's moving? Let's go, let's go crush this next time. So the crush is moving. Um, up here you can change the octaves. There you can pan it. All of that, all of that goodie. And then once you've decided that that is just the best thing you've ever heard, hey, you can drag it in like this. You can drag it into your DAW like that. Or as I did, I just recorded it in. Um, so that's that. Um, now, let me just show you one more, a couple of presets. Fabric. <laughs> Sounds a bit like one of those um, children's cartoons. Yeah, it sounds like children's cartoons. Anyway, um, that's what that is. And by the way, you can change the global preset or the sound here or the sequence. Let's go, for, let's change chord sequences. Mixed. Let's, okay, that's quite fun. Well, let's try that. Again, it sounds like a children's cartoon. Anyway, um, so that's, look, that sequence. And um, I came up with an awful lot. Oh, one thing I haven't showed you um, is you've got a little kick here. So if you press this, and then you press this little button, suddenly it sounds better. Everything sounds better with a kick. Um, as as you'll soon see what I did with my piece. Let me just show you what else we're, we're dealing with. Um, so this is baritone guitar washes. This um, works in the full version of Contact. And this is what it sounds like. Got your edge thing. So it distorts it slightly. Um, you've got delay that's on forever at the minute and a reverb that's on forever at the minute. Uh, you've got low, mid, high um, uh, little EQ here. You've got presets up here, accordion whispers, pads. Distortion. Filter it. Yeah, low EQ. This is the amount, by the way. That's like a colouring thing, it's quite fun. Um, and then on everything, you've got three layers. You've got a body, you've got grit and air. Um, I'll just show you what they all sound like. So this is just the body, it's basically how you're playing the guitar. Yeah. And then uh, turn you down. Oh, actually, I'm going to turn, turn. Sorry, I'm just going to turn the reverb off so I can play you my layers. Distorted, scraped. Let's go for scraped. I mean, that sounds fun, doesn't it? And then uh, this is a Hoover wide. It's a 
white hoover. Is it? But it's a... No, this is a mono hoover. Ah, yes. I prefer the white. Blown one. S sort of... Okay. The, I mean, the this is all lovely airy textures, isn't it? Um, so that's that, and then you have a morphing section. Um, you can read the manual, and it will explain absolutely everything. Also, so you know what we've got instruments-wise, we've got the image sounds, we've got dancehall vibes, finest uh, roots reggae, reggae in the stars. Now these, on the dancehall vibes, you have construction kits. And these are basically pieces uh, at a specific BPM, uh, and they're all stemmed out. So this is the demo. If you want just the drum mix. Bass drum. Snare. Hi-hat. Percussion only. That was it. Electric bass. Yeah. My fantasy plays me yeah. games. I think I'm So look that that is that is how these are all 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 of them uh split up and you've got an awful lot of stems to play with and sample and basically make your own beats with. Um and uh on these instrument loops, these are these are very specific loops. Um, that actually, I thought I was going to write my um, track to this thing originally, but then I found another one. So these are all very specific. Yeah. Now on Finest Roots Reggae, uh, you have... Um, um, let me find it. You basically have four versions. You have the intro, the A, the B, and then the outro. So this is the entire song. But this is the uh, intro of Be All Right. This is the demo. That's it. Okay. So then you have the uh, part A. And again, you just have the stems. Yeah. Uh, outro. Let's get the outro. Isn't that nice? And you could just literally use the chord if you want. Stare. As I basically did. Um, so that is that, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can see, I've colour coded it hopefully helpfully as 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 helpfully as I can. Um, so all of these are the all consequences. Uh, all of these are your baritone guitar washes, and all of these are the samples or bits of stems that I came up with. Anyway. Um, you're wondering how I started. I started with this synth um, groove. Let me put this on loop now so you can find out what I did. I then used simply the kick from Consequence. Um, I then created a bass uh, around chords that I'd written in. In fact, I'll play you these basses. Now, let me just show you very quickly how I came up with this bass pattern. And this was my instrument for, for the for the bassy part. Um, I one, two, three, and four chords. I, I literally put them in here, depending on what I wanted. Um, I then uh, looped it here and I did a bit of this. I've just got E bass picked, mini bass, me machine just to give it a bit of grunge. Oh, this is the E bass only. And actually I stemmed, I actually stemmed out this click. I stemmed out that click. Oh, by the way, one thing I didn't show you on the consequence is shush, is each each instrument is triggered by either ARP, chord, or all. Chord, ARP, or all. Um, uh, so that's 
something vaguely important if you're wondering why no sounds coming out probably haven't got a chord written um anyway so that was that and i mean that is pretty much how i did a lot of these tracks um now the, the fun one um came in with this one i called it apd so i'll just loop this section and then this was my uh, consequence on steroids by the way if you're wondering chords e flat a flat sus 2 e flat sus 4 over b flat and b flat and if you're wondering this is my mad uh apd thing which was this So I used that pattern again here. So, um, where are we? A lot of these shakers, look, you can see there's shakers here, there's crashes here. I did a classic reverse cymbal. So this is, look, I've written it's Regation Styles and Shaker from uh, Nude de Fiesta. These are all basically stems. And this is another kick from Regation Styles bass drum, not Je de Fiesta 1. <laughs> Let's play this loop. This is all my um, image sounds uh, samples uh, with the bass and the kick. Here we go. This is it. <laughs> I've also put a bit of creative compression on the snare here. Yeah. yeah. So, um, it sort of got groovy, really. I went groovy. I didn't go too mad. So, these are my guitar washes. And uh, they're all lo lovely and paddy, really. Let me play. Let me play you this bit here. It's just, it's really nice. I mean, that's that's literally uh, round and warm preset. And this was um, the organic preset. Yeah, I mean, isn't that lovely? So now with the kick and the bass, this is it. Add little plucks there. Isn't that nice? I do like the right audio stuff. Patty piano and all that. Yeah, who who doesn't like an ambient guitar? Anyway, uh, final one. Let me play you all my consequence tracks. Let's go for this loop. Yeah. So, um, so you know, rhythmically, uh, it's very easy to do it. And if you want to write in the right chords, you just you just manually put them in, or as I showed you, just write them in and, and press the arrow, and it makes it for you. So, consequence, yeah, I mean, you know, it's been around a bit, um, but sugar bites, you've got to love them, really, haven't you? Um, uh, the Riot Audio guitar washes, I'd never played with this before at all, um, but actually I quite like it. It's a, it's a nice washy textural pad machine. Um, and then, of course, you know, you've got your Caribbean bundle, Caribbean bundle, um, and you've got so much fun to, to be had. And you could just put them in and mix and mix and match and uh, come up with your own thing. Anyway, um, so look, if you if you like this, leave a comment. Leave a comment and say what you think of these instruments whether you like them whether you don't like them uh, do leave us a like if you like this sort of thing and uh, don't forget to subscribe um, if you want to be updated of of more fun videos like this sort of thing 
Anyway, without further ado, this is the fun, sort of easy listening, chill summer vibe track that I came up with. Again, if you like this, give it a like. If you like what we do, do subscribe and uh, leave a comment uh, whether you like these instruments. Let us know what you think. So uh, in the meantime, take care, stay well, stay safe.